Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR, and yes folks, we are back once again, and today we are ready for a brand new disaster here in Tiny Town. So, if you recall, last episode we had the Kraken versus the zombie apocalypse. I think I'm about done with this area. Uh, this was like a Mad Max post-apocalyptic area with some zombies and just overall some bad stuff happening, including a huge crack in here and a big crab with uh, big green googly eyes. Which, by the way, if you missed that, I'm gonna flash it in the top right corner. So, I'm not saying this is the end of this area because I'm pretty sure we can add some more. But I do want to start something new today, and I actually want to head to the other side of town here. This side hasn't gotten much love in a long time. So today, we're going to be doing one of the viewer-selected disasters. Today is going to be a massive riot slash the purge slash all sorts of craziness. And I think it's going to take place over here. I'm going to run this street out over to this area. Plus, this is actually going to kind of complete this area near the F1 track. And the big, huge baldy, which is actually attacking the town. So, we're going to be doing that here today. If you guys have any suggestions for future disasters, comment below. And if you guys are enjoying Tiny Town on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And I have a little bit of work to do before we start this disaster. Alright, so this is the area where the huge riot slash purge is going on. Now, for those who don't know what a purge is, it's actually based on a movie where... I think crime is legal for like an eight hour period and people just go crazy. So I'm thinking the citizens of Tiny Town have had enough. They've had disasters going on all over the place. They're ready to fight back against the city. So that's what's going to be going on here, except for it's going to be Tiny Town style and it's going to be really ridiculous. So I've kind of filled in this area through here. And what I'm going to do, it's not going to be like a purge in like the big city. It's going to be more like, I'm thinking more like this boardwalk style, which was uh, in one of the earlier episodes. So we're going to start to set up a city area, and I think it's going to be kind of contained. I might put some fences, maybe the cops will be blocking off uh, the block or so where this is happening. So one more thing I do want to mention before we start work here. I'm getting a lot of requests to see old disasters. Like somebody requested a jailbreak the other day by boat, which is actually going on over there. So I'm thinking maybe we need to do a city tour here really soon. Let me know what you guys think. And then maybe that'll help uh, eliminate some of the duplicate uh, suggestions. It's kind of weird. I'm doing all this setup here and trying to create like a normal looking area only to have it blown completely apart. So what we're actually using, uh, is that a drive through Oh, that is a drive through menu. I like that. Uh, let's stick that on the back side. We got a Komodo burger right here. Uh, the Komodo burger is kind of your one-stop shop for your purge uh, hunger needs. I know that sounds really wrong. Now, we are going to be using a couple of buildings we haven't used before, uh, including this uh, cinema, which looks to be a little, I don't know, weirdly scaled. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. There we go. So we got like a cinema over here. We'll have a parking lot. Uh, we got a gas station. I know I think I've used this. This is like one of those little uh, mega malls over here. Uh, that looks like it's falling over. Now, the neat thing about the, uh, the whole purge setup, I'm actually going to be able to use some of the apocalypse buildings and it's going to give it the effect that people are maybe blowing up or uh catching some buildings on fire so if i were to go to the zombie section like i need to find some that aren't overgrown like this would work that's like a burnt building that would work for a house there what else do we have i don't know maybe we'll have a purge bunker here so we'll get that out and then what else are we looking for i need to find a business uh, a lot of these look like they're overgrown. This isn't too bad. If I mask that with some fire, it won't look like it's just an old apocalypse building. So maybe we'll stick this by the Komodo Burger. I actually think we're going to have to extend. Yeah, we're going to have to extend this street out. We don't have enough area here. I was kind of thinking I did, but apparently I do not. So let me extend this out real quick and we'll place all these things. All right, so we're starting to set up some of the chaos. So I'm actually mixing... Some zombies, some military all together. You can see this whole block here is charred. This building's gonna be on fire. Uh, you can see we had like a helicopter crash. Uh, some stuff's going on through here. You got people, uh, there's gonna be some cars and stuff through here, but I think there's gonna be a mass 
a group of people maybe clashing with riot police right through here. Now, I'm debating if I want to try to maybe stick some fencing or something where this area or this event's going to be happening. I'll have to see. But up here, I'll have some people maybe up top of the gas station. They're trying to protect their property. And we have like a fence leading up to the cinema. So... I need to add some vehicles real quick, so we're gonna go back to town, and then I need to find my riot police, which I'm pretty sure those are gonna be easy. Actually, we need some emergency vehicles is what we need. So we'll have like the SWAT here. They're gonna have a staging area. They're gonna try to block this street off uh, with vans. So we'll have that. We'll have tons of cops here. Tons of emergency responders. Uh, we'll line them up, kind of have them blocking off the street. This thing is sticking really weird. Is it? Oh, on. There we go. Cop cars were all kind of at a weird angle. There we go. We'll place all these. They are going to be absolutely clogging this street up. Trying to keep people uh, in the purge and the riot kind of all in the same area. There we go. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Alright, so we got that. Let's go ahead and move on. Uh, let's find our cops here. Now, do we actually have a riot police? Or are we going to have... Oh, yeah, we do. Sweet. Alright, let's grab these three here. We need normal cops. Uh, I'll grab all the normal cop models here. Probably need some medics. Uh, these look like... Actually, that's a waitress. Right, here we go. We got a couple doctors. Uh, firefighters are going to be on standby here. Uh, because of obvious reasons. Oh yeah, it's going to be a collection of people. Now, we did do a little bit of a riot in the prison. Uh, by the way, if you missed that, just go to the Tiny Town playlist. Uh, this is going to be somewhat similar to that, I think, for this portion. And then, of course, you'll have the people that are just taking uh, advantage of the situation and causing all sorts of mischief. Alright, so what we're doing right now, we're giving the, uh, the front line, the riot police, we're giving them shields. And they're going to have batons. Uh, some might have to have some weapons here, too. There we go. Trying to hand everybody a shield here. Alright, they look good. So the second line of defense, which I'm going to add some more riot police here along the side. But yeah, the second line of defense is just going to have batons. Maybe they'll have some ranged weapons. Uh, I'm liking the way that looks. Probably have some cops back here. Probably need to do a couple of cop cars and stuff. Like maybe some people will be flipping them over. Uh, this looks pretty good. Uh, I need batons, though. I need a lot of these bad boys. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of crime we have to take care of here. So, this is probably already gonna be stated. And I know a lot of people are like, well, if it's a purge, wouldn't the cops not be intervening right now? And my excuse is that maybe the purge, and that will explain the charred out buildings, maybe the purge is already over. And this is their way of closing down the area and cleaning up afterwards. Yeah, that's what we're going to call it. Plus, there's also just some rioters here that are pretty sick of Tiny Town and the way the, uh, the city's managed. Alright, so for the first wave of rioters, we're going to use a lot of just plain uh, town people. We'll use some probably zombie people. Not like zombies, but the... Uh, the kind of bandits that are mixed in. We're going to have all sorts of ridiculous characters. Maybe a couple prisoners are out here. You never know. Uh, they'd probably really like to uh, be involved with the purge. Sure. You know what? I got a plan for these. So I was going to say something. You're going to see the clowns later. Uh, they're going to be kind of a group here. So yeah, I'm going to grab plenty of people here. They'll be uh, fighting against the man. And you can see the... Actually looks really cool. I like the way that looks. That and you got Baldy in the background. That's ridiculous. All right, so we are ready for our first little scene. So this is where uh, the rioters are going to clash with the police. Now, beyond this, this is where the uh, little mischief is going to be happening. I need to add some more buildings back there. So let's go ahead and get in on the action here. You can see a whole cast of characters. They're running towards the police. They have all sorts of weapons. Got one guy. He's down here. He probably got hit by something. Uh, I think cops like to shoot those rubber bullets or those beanbag things into crowds. You got a boxer here. He's got his dukes up. He's ready to go uh, attempt to probably punch a shield that's probably going to hurt. Uh, you've got that. you got like a football player over there. People are holding all sorts of wacky weapons. This lady, she's just happy to be here because apparently 
uh, the rioters were having some sort of uh, giveaway for hot dogs, so she's got a couple of those. Uh, you got some people charging up through here. This guy's just so angry and so outraged, he threw a trash can. And, of course, you've got Elvis with a chainsaw and a baseball bat. So a couple details about the police. Of course, you got some uh, medics tending to an injured police officer. You've got the firefighters. They're going to be trying to figure out how the heck are they going to get in there and fight these fires. Need to add some fire trucks. Uh, let me go ahead and set this building on fire. I need to add a couple more buildings through here to make it look a lot more populated. And then we'll start some of the madness with the people in here. All right, so I've got something here. So, of course, we've got the Komodo Burger place here. And you know what? Everybody's favorite character is going to be attempting to place an order. So oblivious grandma, completely oblivious to the whole riot situation going on around her, is actually at Komodo Burger, and she's a little confused as to uh, why they're not taking her order here. She's yelling into the intercom, trying to get herself a number two with extra cheese on it. And it's just not happening. It's okay, Oblivious Grandma. So we're going to go around here. I've set up some more stuff. You can see the streets actually got a little bit more crowded here. I did add some stuff to the Komodo Burger. Uh, say some people were still trying to get their grub on. You see some burgers and stuff all over the place. You know what? This guy is going to be doing a very, very terrible crime here. So he is going to be here eating the burgers. And you know what? Guess what? He never paid for them. He actually just took one of these. There you go. That is a horrible crime. Now, that's not the only crime that's going on. Over here, I mean, this has got to be a felony or something. This guy is tipping over a porta potty. Like, seriously, dudes? That's just wrong. And then over here, we got some bodybuilders that are tipping over a police car. And they're really jazzed right now that they can show off their muscles. So, for our next scene here. I was pulling out those clowns earlier, and yes, we do have a clown gang that has showed up for the Purge. Now, what they're doing here, they're actually, uh, they're trying to get inside the Purge shelter. So, as you can see, they've, uh, pulled up in their clown car, and no telling how many of them got out of this little thing. And they've, uh, actually beaten up the cops, they pulled up in motorcycles, and they are, uh, knocking on the door of the Purge shelter, trying to get in, see if anybody wants to come out and play. So I've added that, I've added some more pedestrians running around. This looks absolutely chaotic. Alright, so we need to do something with the cinema over here. Uh, that's one of the last areas I need to work on. So I'm thinking they use the ladder to climb up to the top, and some people are trying to seek some sort of refuge away from the chaos that's going down below. I need to add some cars out here. Uh, maybe there was a movie going on during this whole thing. Alright, so the next little scene here, you can see I've added some cars and stuff, added a little detail to this area. So these are going to be the film bandits. They're actually going to the theater to break into the top, that's why the ladder is there, to get inside and steal all the latest and greatest movies, including Simple Western, and Simple Western, and Simple Western. So, as you can see, they have their bags on their backs, they're trying to climb up, but this guy up here, he actually kicked one, and this guy is absolutely flying down, dropping all of his equipment. Uh, there's another person here with a uh, particularly uh, kind of dangerous looking tool. It's like a plank with some nails in it. So there you go. So yeah, they're trying to repel the bandits from going in and stealing all the movies. Because remember, crime's legal. They can go in there and do that. But some people are not going to stand for that. So huh, let's get a look at what we've done here today. So that's what we're looking like. Wow, this is pretty cool. I feel like we could actually even do more to this. So the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple little finishing touches. We need to add some more pedestrians running through here. Uh, maybe another scene or something. And I think I'll be pretty happy with it. Alright, so we've set some more people up. I don't know if I pointed this out, the whole fact that I made that building actually uh, on fire there. So more people are running through the streets. we got more pedestrians all over the place. One thing I want to point out, we're having a little illegal street fight here. They're duking it out. Uh, this guy's getting punched. And this guy over here, he's happy. He's making it rain. He apparently just... Won a whole bunch of money here off this dude. That looks pretty cool. I'm actually happy with this. So this is kind of the start of this. I don't know what else we're going to do. We've got plenty of areas. I mean, look at this, folks. We do have to cut it off about right here, right about where that green building is because of the tsunami that's coming in. Uh, which, by the way, if you missed that episode, there was a tsunami one. Uh, but we still have this neighborhood back here. We have this area through here. 
uh, leads out to the Formula One track. Uh, hold on, let me go ahead and zoom out. Uh, this is a, a big view of the city here. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about that little city tour uh, and going over a lot of the things that we've missed. I'm actually really happy with this. This is starting to really look cool. Like eventually we'll have a border to everything when we end the, I don't want to say end the series because I don't want to imagine that. But once everything's done and we end everything, we'll actually eventually put like either an ocean border around the map and just make it look overall complete. So, like I said, comment below with new suggestions. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. And we'll see you guys next time in Tiny Town.